Loading response is defined as the initial contact or heel strike until the moment that the opposite foot undergoes toe off. During loading response, weight shifts from one foot to the other. In this video, we will focus on the right leg. So make sure to watch the position and movement of the right foot from the time the right heel makes contact with the ground to the moment that the left toe leaves the ground. We will describe the motion at each joint, the muscle moments that control the joint, and the disorders that arise when the muscles don't function properly. During initial contact, the ankle is dorsiflexed. As this phase progresses, the ankle moves into plantar flexion. The speed of plantar flexion is controlled by a dorsiflexion moment at the ankle. The muscle that controls the dorsiflexion moment is the tibialis anterior. It acts eccentrically so that the foot is lowered slowly and smoothly to the ground. Foot slap is a condition characterized by weakness in the tibialis anterior, which results in the foot slapping on the floor immediately after heel strike. Equinus gait is another disorder due to weak dorsiflexors. This is often seen in patients with cerebral palsy. During equinus gait or toe walking, there is no input from the tibialis anterior and the person is always walking on their toes. There is no initial contact because the ankle is constantly plantar flexed. Now we move up to the knee. During the loading response, the knee moves from full extension at initial contact into flexion at opposite toe off. Since the loading response is the phase in which weight shifts from one leg to the other, the knee bends to support this added weight. The muscle moment at the knee during this phase is a flexion moment. This moment is controlled by eccentric activity of the quadriceps. When the quads are weak, gait is characterized by leaning the trunk forward. This shifts the center of gravity forward so that the line of force will fall anterior to the knee, forcing it into extension. At initial contact, the hip is in flexion and moves into extension as the opposite toe lifts off. The muscle moment at the hip during this phase is extension. This moment is controlled by eccentric activity in the biceps femoris and the gluteus maximus. The right gluteus medius acts isometrically to prevent the left side of the pelvis from dropping in the frontal plane. Trendelenburg gait is a disorder due to weak hip abductor muscles. If the right leg has a weak gluteus medius muscle, the left side of the pelvis drops because the right stance leg cannot support it.